This month, you have the opportunity to enjoy local artwork. It's happening in your community with the Springfield Art Association. And Executive Director Betsy Dollar is joining me now. Hey, Betsy, how's it going? Very well. How are you doing? We're good. And I know that you are in the gallery there at the Springfield Art Association with a very special exhibit, one that's kind of been on hold for a little bit. Yes, it has. Um, this show was actually supposed to be part of the Liturgical and Sacred Art Festival that is a biennial thing that happens in Springfield, normally in April. Um, we all know that we were sheltering in place in April, but the artists were kind enough to let me hang on to their artwork, and we are now able to uh, show this piece of that festival here in our gallery. So are these local artists then, local to Central Illinois? They, um, they're from all over the country. There are 11 who are Central Illinois regional, five more who are um, from across the state, and then the rest are from all over the United States. And there were about 350 submissions, and we chose about 50 pieces. Um, from the submissions for this show. Wow, we were looking at pictures here of the exhibit, but it looks like you're standing um, in front of some great pieces, so why don't you give us a little tour? This is a really large and fascinating work by two local artists, Linda Chapman and Marco Mulder. Um, it's actually a 3D cutout wood piece that's about four feet by six feet maybe wow so that's pretty unique um next to that is a very intriguing mosaic piece that actually comes right out from the wall so that's uh. that's pretty interesting do all of these pieces have some kind of common theme or because i guess i don't know what liturgical means Liturgical basically means um, inspired by sacred texts. We have um, many different sort of religions and spiritual approaches represented here in this show. Everything from, um, you know, standard Christianity and Judaism to um, a lot of it seems like there's a little bit of everything there from the 3d to the photographs definitely something for everyone to enjoy and appreciate this is september 12th 5 to 7 p.m correct and the exhibition will run through september 26th um so it'll be here for a little while if people don't really want to be around a lot of other people to come and check it out Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, or Saturday, 10 to 3, the gallery is open. Well, that was that's really fantastic that those artists let you keep their artwork for a little while longer so that people in the community can enjoy it. Something else people can enjoy is your annual Edwards Place Fine Art Fair. So we're going to have a lot of vendors there um, ready for you to come check out their, their work. Yeah, we're scaling back again um, thanks to COVID. So in about 80 books we'll have between 35 and 40 spread out on the lawns and we will be limiting the number of visitors on the lawns at any given time but it is a chance to be outside enjoy really great original artwork make some purchases since you're spending more time at home you might like some new work on your wall um you know brighten things up a little bit and uh, yeah, we're really excited that we can host the fair this year. Christmas is just around the corner, so this would be a great opportunity to maybe start a little early shopping. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. There are some great artists who make terrific gift items. All right, well, it looks like a great time there at the Springfield Art Association with everything you've got going on. There's a look at their Facebook page. We'll have all the links to connect with the Springfield Art Association at CILiving.tv. Betsy, we appreciate you being with us this afternoon.